Hello you lovely people, we're back again and we're going to be starting on the front of our dress. So this is the style that we're creating here. So here we go. Now what we need is a sheet of clean paper, whether you use spot or cross or brown paper. And then we're going to need your blocks, your back and your front. We need a ruler, scissors, the tape measure. Tape measure, we need um, the spike, tracing wheel, rubber, I've got sharpener and a pencil and we're ready to go. So here we go. First of all, we're going to um, start on the front so we can put the back away and we start with the front. That's your front block and we're going to be starting with that. So what I'm going to do is going to mark around the block, transfer all the lines that we need, such as our darts and um, balance line and, um, you know, the waistline, wherever we put the mark on. We just basically transfer the block onto the new sheet of paper because we never cut our block up. We just start by marking off and then we use that, what we've marked off as our draft. And then we can do anything, any lines that we want on our draft. So first of all, I'm going to mark around the block. This is where we start. Like that. As per usual, um, all the way around. Once we've got that, this edge here is a center front and that would be the fold, but we're only doing a quarter of the block. And I'm just gonna put a mark along there, um, along the bottom. I'm gonna trace off my darts, make sure it comes through. I would not use the spike to do that, make sure it comes through on the new sheet of paper like that. And I'm going to put the dart in um, on the side, because we've got a dart on the side and not got must remember that. So once we've got that, we can take our block away and then I'm going to mark on the darts which we have um, tra transfer the darts onto this new sheet now. So we've got all of that on. We're going to take the dart down through there to the waist, up there, down there. So we've got that on there and I'm just going to write on here C, F, centre front fold so that we know that's the fold edge. And what I'm going to do now is extend this line down, all the way down, because I need to get it the length of my dress that I want to. So when you find out the length of your dress, you can take it down from the waistline. So you measure from the waist down and then you know what length you want. You decide where you want it to the to the floor, wherever you want it to finish. And then you just measure it along. You take it right along through the waist, along there. And then we just square a line out like that. So that is the length of the dress that we want here. I'm just going to take the line through there like that. And then I'm going to extend this line down from the bottom of the hip here down to the so that is now the length of the dress that I want so once I've got that I am going to um, now take off the amount that I want for my frill so basically that is the dress so I'm going to mark off that amount so you decide how deep you want that to be whatever it is you're going to take it off the length, you're going to take it off your block um, draft that you have there. So once you've decided on that, I'm going to measure up um, what I where I want that to be. And I'm going to take the line right across. So on here for my skirt, I'm going to take it up to there. And I'm going to take it there. You decide on where you want. And I'm going to take a line straight across there. So that now is the bottom half of my skirt. And this is the top 
section. This, this is the bottom area here, and then this section here would be the top. So I've marked that on there. So I'm gonna, whatever style lines I want, I'm going to mark them on this block here before I start to do anything. So if I want these panels down there and I want a centre front seam in there. So I'm gonna create those lines on. And um, once I create them, means I'm gonna draw them onto my block. But I'm gonna decide on how low I want my neckline to be as well at the same time from my neck, how low down I want my off the shoulder to be. So it depends on you, you've got to decide how far you want your off the shoulder to come. So I'm gonna take it round, round about there. So you measure down from the, I'd say from the, the end of your armhole at the shoulder, whatever the measurement is, you know, you put a mark and then I'm going to take the line all the way round. So that's where I, I'll just mark that on where I want my off the shoulder to be. So all of that will be off because that's where the line, that line that I want. So once I've got that, I'm gonna extend my dart from the end bottom of it all the way down here like this. Draw the line right down to the bottom, the top of where the frill is like that. And I'm gonna take it right up to where the off the shoulder measurement is. So if you can see that line, that's my off the shoulder line. That's my seam line coming down there into there. So what I'm going to do next is I want to close that dart because I don't want that dart in there. I want to close it and put it into my seam here. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to copy off this section here, like that. That's the first thing that I do. So with another sheet of paper, I'm going to trace off this section from here, all the way down here, all the way down here, down to here and across to here for this section. So this is what I do. On another sheet of paper, what I'm going to do, I'm going to place a sh sheet of paper on there to trace it off, or you can do it two ways. New fresh sheet of paper, and I'm going to place that on top of that. And you, you can see the lines underneath. So what you do is trace it off. You can do it that way, or you can place this on top and use your tracing wheel. If you place that on top on your new sheet of paper, use your tracing wheel and trace around the lines that you, you've got here, right? So let's do the tracing wheel method. Right, so once you've got your tracing wheel, if you didn't have a tracing wheel, then you place the blank sheet on top and then you can see the lines coming. You probably can't see it on the video, but they, you can see the lines and then you'll trace them through. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to place the blank sheet underneath and I'm gonna place my paper on top. Now I'm going to trace off. So here we go. We're going to trace off from that section here and I'm going to go down here, right along this section. If you notice what I'm doing, I'm taking off this section where I've just shaded in. I've marked off, I've taken off that off. I haven't gone over there. I've taken it from this way because I want that dart is going to give me the shaping in my waist. Okay, so what I do, I take that off first and then I am going to mark my centre front, draw my centre front line on like that, draw my centre front and then I'm going to connect up. I'm going to put a notch there for my waist. So then move that off my, my new sheet of paper that I've got. I'm going to put my waist notch in, which I've got there and I'm going to now connect up the lines that I've got, this is my center front line here. I'm gonna mark it on. I'm gonna take it all the way down, down to there, like that. And I'm gonna go across, you'll see it as we mark it out. 
across like that and I'm going to take this this is not a straight line it's slightly shaped because that's my neckline and then I'm going to go along here and you can see the shape it's not a straight line it's shaped because you've got your waist your darts in there and we take that out so you're getting that shape so once we've got that all we do now is add the seam allowance on so we're going to add because it's got center front seam in the front here it's, we're not this is not on the fold we've got to put seam here at the front so I'm going to mark the seam allowance on here on the front like this and then I take it all the way down to the bottom that's your seam on your center front I just get that a solid line up there like that and then I'm going to put my seam allowance on the bottom as well because I need a seam here seam allowance there and I'm going to have a seam allowance at the neckline but you only need a quarter of an inch along the, the neckline at the top there and then I'm going to put half an inch down the panel this is called a panel so I'm going to add half an inch seam along the panel and you take it right up, up around, up to the waist and um, right up, right across, right up to the top over the bust line here because that's your bust point there and you take it all the way to the, the top of the neckline there and you just, just give it a nice curve with your curve around there and you attach that line like that across the top so that is now you can use this center front line as your grain line here and I'll mark that on and this is now your your front your center front panel it's your center front panel along there and you do, all you do now is write on there the information that you want to help you when you come to cut it out. So along here now, we're going to write on here, center, front, dress. And we're going to cut two of those. Because it's not on the fold it's got a seam up it so once you've got that so that's the first piece of pattern piece that is finished and once you've done that you just cut out cut your shape out along the neckline here and down over the bust where your panel is over there down to the waist all the way to the hem and that's your first piece of pattern piece done your front pattern piece and then you come across the bottom the hemline like that like that and you go up the front center front seam you can also put a, a notch a center front notch balance mark along the center front here so that you know when you cut out the two pieces that joins to there so that will be a notch there and you have a notch on your your waistline and you can also have another notch here so it helps you to join to balance your piece as you're going along so that is now your center front piece of pattern as it is there so the next thing we do we're going to do the side section so we can put that one over to that side we get your draft again and you've got a clean sheet of paper here and you're going to place your draft on that piece of pattern pattern paper and once again you're going to make sure that's secure with your weight or a pin and I'm going to trace off now I'm going to trace off this section here over that side so 
I'm going to go from that point because that's where we went and we stopped and we went down there. So this time we're going to go from there, that point there where we stopped and we're going to go across and we're going to go across the armhole like that and we're going to go down the side like that right along to the bottom and we're going to go across the bottom there like that and we're going to put in the 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 um bust dart on this underarm along there along there so it comes through on the other side and then we're going to go down here and we're not going to go this side we're going to go the other side of the dart 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 mark along there and we're going to go right down to the bottom there so once again we're going to put a, a, a mark there so we know that is the waist so we're going to take that paper off like that that's our draft don't throw that away until we finish and what we're going to do now is we're going to mark in the dart that we have so don't forget to put in your the end of your dart where your dart position is so if you forgot to put it in go back lay that on your pattern and make sure you've got that mark in there so you know where you're actually going so that's the mark there so we're going to take that to there where it touches that line to there like that put that dart in and we've got and we can mark that in so that we know where we are so you're going to mark that line in there, down there, down to the bottom, straight across the bottom, across the top, down there, around the armhole, like that, and down the side. And then up the bot up the um, side seam. So we've traced it off. We've got the tracing lines there, and you just come round to your waist like that. So once you've got that, we're going to cut that shape out because we don't want this dart here. So we're going to get rid of that dart. So how do we do that? We're going to cut out that shape like that. around there so you see it's it's it it seems you're probably thinking oh that's a lot of work that's hard you know but it's not hard really so at least you know that when you finish this because your block is to your measurements you know everything's going to fit